Hello everyone and welcome to another Throne in Liberty video. My name is Brian if you happen to be new to my channel, but if you're a returning subscriber, welcome in and welcome back. Thank you so much for being here today. That's what you get for subscribing, by the way. Additional greetings and love at the start of these videos. But we got a lot to talk about because Throne of Liberty is so close to actually releasing in Korea, it boggles my mind. It feels like this game has suffered many delays, but within those delays, we've seen constant improvement to the game itself. And so the goal of this video is to kind of walk you through the skill and weapon upgrade system, as well as the upgrade transfer and crafting systems that were recently detailed in a video posted on the official Throne in Liberty uh, site on here on YouTube. But note that it is in Korean and the beautiful folks over at the Throne in Liberty website, which I'll include a link in the description if you just want to go read for yourself and you don't really want to listen to my thoughts on it, uh, created this beautiful guide to translate that. So uh, that's what we're going to be using in today's video. And I'll include a link, like I said, in the description. So go give them some love for the work and support that they put into this game and into this community. But without further ado, let's dive into the reason why you clicked on this video in the first place and let's have some fun. Character progression is key to any MMORPG and Throne in Liberty has this in spades, but it takes a, I guess a typical Korean or a typical Japanese twist on upgrades and removes the failure rate. And I think that's a real key component to what this game means. In other games that I have played, sometimes when you're doing upgrades, it has a chance to fail. That has been removed, and depending on, basically, your role has shifted into, you might have really great success, or you might just have a moderate amount of progression that is happening within the upgrades. But let's focus first here on this skill enhancements. Now, all skills are going to have a starting grade that can be upgraded, and you're going to see this on the hexagon at the bottom right corner of each skill. Now, upgrading your skills will give them additional special effects that you can see what will be and what items you will need to use to level them up in the skill upgrade window. Now for skill upgrades, you're going to need to use enhancement books of the same grade and weapon type, but be careful. Active and passive skills require different types of books. Now while selecting, keep in mind which skill you want to upgrade to get the right material. And for me, as just a player, this just sounds like an additional grind, which I actually enjoy. I know we've seen the removal of grind in MMOs to appease more of those who just kind of want to experience the story, and I get it, but I really do appreciate when there's lots of things to chase and a lot of rewards for doing so, obviously like with the additional perks and so much more. Now. Like I said in the start of this video, the enhancement will never fail. The amount of enhancement value achieved per attempt is determined with a certain probability. So you can see it by clicking on the question mark and each skill upgrade has five levels to upgrade. When you make an upgrade in the end of the sixth degree, the skill will change to the higher grade at level one. Now for your equipment enhancements here, as with the skills, each item has its own grade and each equipment grade has a maximum level of improvement. So your common has a maximum level of three, the uncommon has a maximum level of six, the rare is nine, and epic is 12. To upgrade your equipment, open the equipment upgrade window from the menu and click on the item and click on the upgrade button to the right. So the process for upgrading equipment is the same as for skills, but the materials that you will need will depend on the upgraded change. To upgrade equipment, you need growth stones with the right grade, and you can use growth stones at a lower grade to create growth stones of a higher grade, which is great. Um, I love that. I hate when things hit the floor, like make everything have some kind of value and it could be a diminishing return. You don't need, you might take a lot of smaller growth stones to create a higher grade, but that's perfectly fine. It gives you that reason and gives that value every time you end up getting one after you reach a certain point. And conversely, you can disassemble growth stones to obtain lower grade ones. So they got it on both directions. So you can see the upgrade path with the various different common, the uh, rare <laughs> and epic tiers. Now regarding enhancement transfer, one of the most interesting features of the Throne of Liberty's upgrade system is that you can actually transfer the upgrade level from one piece of equipment to another. And this is going to save, I think, so much time and frustration whenever a player wants to shift things around a little bit. They don't feel like they have to start over from scratch. So the upgrade transfer window will allow you to select an item that will receive the upgrades and the item from which it will receive them. So you pick which item is going from and which item it's going to. Note the percentage of improvement received in the transfer 
software will depend not only on the level of improvement, but also the grade. If both pieces are of the same grade, the level of improvement obtained will transfer will be the same, but if they are different grades, the improvement value is converted and applied according to the grade of the items themselves. So let's talk about the crafting system now. If you want to create your own equipment, you can do so by getting materials indicated in the recipe and finding the right NPC. Now, find the NPC by clicking on the map icon next to the recipe. You will have no, <laughs> if you have doubts as to where you will get some of these materials, you will also find out on the recipe itself. Select the material and click on the information icon. I love this. This is such a great feature. I like this. It's just gonna, you know, help eliminate essentially add-ons and mods because that's really what those uh, end up doing so having this built into the game I think is going to be a nice quality of life feature now if you have duplicate equipment in your uh, or you simply don't use it don't throw it away register it in the equipment collection book with the equipment collection book you can complete different sets of items and receive equipment improvement materials as a reward so there is a lot of use and a lot of thought in my mind that has gone into the system and a lot that I think we can be excited about. I cannot wait to go hands-on with Throne of Liberty. And like I've said before, I'm gonna try to be there for the Korean launch. I'm still working on getting access, so we'll see how that goes. Outside of the Korean launch, we will have this game launching in the West in the Global Edition uh, sometime in 2024. And if you guys like Throne of Liberty coverage, you're in the right spot. You should be able to uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and you can check out other videos if you're looking for something else to watch today. But outside of that, I hope you just have a wonderful day, and thanks so much for being here. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. But until then, take care.